assalamu alaikum guys in this practical video i will guide you for plinth beam steel reinforcement details each beam length is up to 16 feet you can see this is the junction between beam and column they did not provide the development length which is very important to provide at the end of the beam to make a good bond between steel and concrete but they didn't provide you can see clearly the upward steel rods are going to the downward side and the downward side steel are going to the upward side to make a good bond with column at the end of the beam development length should be provided but they didn't provide so this is one of the important technical term in steel reinforcement you can see guys the stirrups which are placed up to 7 inches spacing center to center dia is 8 mm with the spacing of 6 to 7 inches this is the other junction between beam and column same they didn't provide the development length they used three steel rods at the top two at the bottom this is not the proper design of steel reinforcement and the construction of this plinth beam that's why because at the bottom we should provide maximum numbers compared to compression zone because steel is strong and compression but it's weak in tension so therefore in tension zone we should provide maximum numbers compared to upper portion but unfortunately they did the opposite design of proper steel reinforcement they provide three at the top and two at the bottom which is not the perfect design they used 40 steel uh, 40 grade steel rods size of the beam is 9 inches by 16 inches width is 9 inches and depth is 16 inches with concrete cover here they should provide the crank bar or extra steel rods at the junction between beam and column guys you can see this is the corner beam you can't see any development length to make a good bond spacing is maximum here they also provide they also provided lapping length at this place which is not good this is not the proper design of steel reinforcement because at the distance of l by 4 you are not allowed to provide in tension zone especially lapping length but in upper portion if you need to provide the uh, the uh, the lapping length so it should be provided at the middle at the distance of l by 2 guys you can see spacing is up to 14 inches for stirrup so this is wrong this is not the proper design which they did already for this construction the first stirrup should be placed at the distance of minimum 2 inches they provided same spacing if that is l by 4 l by 5 or l by 2 they didn't follow any steel structural drawing for this construction therefore if you are working on construction side so be careful with rcc drawing because this is important part of building steel structure guys you can see clearly under the steel reinforcement that is plinth level which width is up to 3.13.5 uh, inches they will place when they complete the steel reinforcement construction they will place the steel reinforcement on the top of plinth beam plinth level which is up to the height of 16 inches from the ground level actual ground level hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye